Hi everyone. I've had a lot of requests through RC groups as well as YouTube private message to ask me if I've rewounded a motor and how to do it. More specifically, how to take apart a motor cleanly so that uh, you can you know, rewind it and uh, not destroy the motor. Uh, throughout the years, I've, I've probably done about 20-25 motors, so I thought I'd do a video on it. So this is kind of the first segment on it. First thing with any motor, you will notice that there's some kind of clip in the back. And there's specific tools for you to that would take that clip off pretty cleanly. Fortunately, I don't have one. Those tools are very expensive. So here's my tool. It's just a flathead screwdriver, and you want to put your thumb or fingernail on one side and pry it open with the uh, screwdriver on the other side. Uh, you also, if you've done this before, for those that have done this before, you'll also notice that you also know that if you don't, if you're not careful, that clip will fall, fly out, and you'll never find it again. So. That's where this bag comes in. Um, I'm going to stick it in the bag and it's kind of hard to see. But there you go. That, so the clip came out. If you can see it here. So once you get the clip out, You'll notice the um, motor just the the motor housing just basically pops off. Um, in past experience, I, I've ran into problems where the motor does not come out and it gets it's pretty much jammed or stuck in there. Sometimes, if you look at the end of the shaft. You'll notice there's nicks or you know things like that in the shaft, and it's that nick that doesn't go through the bearing. It, it's so tight in there. So what I do is just take sandpaper and sand down the nicks um, just enough so it'll pass through the bearing, and that usually does it. And also I've ran into times when the uh, the shaft is bent just a little bit and it won't go through. Uh, in that case, you'll need a vice grip to uh, push that shaft out but um, if that happens you'll end up destroying your bearing in the process so you'll probably have to put new bearings in all right next step is to take out the bearings to get the bearings out and then uh, take the stator out and we're we're good